Survival Evolve on Elfin here at Project Edge 2D and uh, meet the Dragoon of Arc. Um, not too easy. So, uh, I got a bit of an update since uh, last time. Um, I lost my RG. Hawk Ink 2. Um, sounds on the game. Hmm. Alright, so, as you can see, if one of the updates is, is I got stone gates up. So basically, I have my pin pretty well set up. Uh, go ahead and put that. But, I lost my RG. It happened, um, Happened uh, yesterday. I got on, and um, that was the dire bear manta ray patch. And turns out, dire bears spawn near my base, which is great. I mean, I didn't, you know, after seeing the video, I figured, oh, great, another winter biome thing, and it's like, oh, that's. But no, they spawned near the base, and uh, it was like, awesome. Um, and here's the culprit that is responsible for killing my RG. This dire bear. Damned him up. Of course, that was after he killed my RG. And, um... Certainly was an eventful. These guys, the dire bears, they hit hard. Bloody hard, too. Um, I had, basically, I had full chitin, or chitin, or whatever, armor on. Full health. Three hits, this guy tore off my armor. Of course, it's primitive, so... Um, Yeah, three hits. So these guys hit like bloody trucks. Now, one of the nice things is, is these things are possibly one of the best kind of land mounts you want to have. At first it starts off slow, kind of like the Rhino. But once the bear gets going, it gets going. It's full sprint. And since it uses less stamina sprinting than it than most other um, mammals or dinos in the game, it can almost sp basically full sprint in close to indefinitely. So if you boost your speed and um, stamina on it, you can bolt from one end to the other. Um, so, one of the nice things about these guys is, one, they gather berries, as well as fiber. So, personally, I like that. Uh, Gigantopithecus are, tend to be a bit of a pain to tame. Since, um, due to the fact that they're passive tame, so you gotta stick behind them and feed them and whatnot. Um... Taming a dire bear, well, when it was first released, the wiki said veggies were the general best thing to use. 
Wrong. Don't use veggies. It takes forever. So, you actually want to use meat. Raw meat, raw prime meat. Uh, its favorite kibble is carno kibble. So, make sure you got... So it gathers meat, keratin, chitin, fiber, I mean, so, and it's an omnivore, so you can feed it whatever, whatever you have on hand, so it doesn't have to be, so you don't have a lot of meat, you can keep it fed with berries, you don't have a lot of berries, but you got a lot of meat, you can feed it that, so it actually works out really well to have. And you can just run through a field of berry bushes and just go right at it. The one issue with this is the dire bear consumes food like it's no tomorrow. If you've noticed, I've already gone through 28 berries on top of the screen there. So yeah, if you've got a dire bear, make sure you're running and gathering at the same time to keep it fed because it will constantly feed as you go through. Um, that way you can maintain stamina, it can maintain its hunger, and all that good stuff. So, there's that. Overall, the Dire Bear is actually really good to have. I mean, I like it. And I got lag. There we go. Um, so today I need to actually go out and, um, get a new RG. Uh, so, right quick, there's some updates on the port. sprinting with this guy just go through there like that just gather all that up it so you can definitely clear out and gather up all kinds of berries and one so as you know we've done the f the flyers landing so basically get flyers and park them here now over here as you can see this is actually going to be my new home I'm going to actually be taking a lot of the stuff in the my little castle over there and moving it to the beach side and it overlooks my port city that is still under construction mind you but and then over here I kind of have a line mark out I was playing kind of testing with the platforms the real issue here is is that doing it this way you're going to need a lot of resources to build up the wall when it would just be better to gather up the resources you need to do the big um, behemoth gates Ooh, excuse me um, so, there's that, and so once I get everything moved there, of course I can f focus a lot more on um, getting the port built up. Also, what I intend to do is, like, somewhere over on this side, either this side or that side, I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to do kind of, um, what, what do they call them, um, mount, basically any mounts that I use for traveling by land a lot, I'm actually going to park them there, kind of like a horse pin kind of thing, so basically anytime I use mounts that are fast travel mounts that I use a lot to travel between areas. 
Um, I will actually have a housing for them, and that is a Alpha Raptor. <coughs> oh, good lord. Um, that was quite unprofessional on TV. Or not TV, uh, On, uh, camera. But, yeah. So basically, a lot of this, I'm going to actually start moving over there. I'm going to get a new poop uh, pen set up. And I'm missing towers. Hmm. So I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> my dire bear is in no condition to be taken up. As for this, my castle, I'm actually going to deconstruct the center of it get all my resources and things you know out of there moved over to my new house and then I'm actually going to use this as a giant taming pin so it'll be close to the gate here so when of course I'm going to have to modify probably the far end of it that way when I tame it up I can just open the gate and into the pin so I might actually put a wall here and back there. Or uh, put down a um, foundation and then build up some walls on that. But I'm going to basically empty out the entire center and turn it into, and then put uh, window walls on the inside of it. So basically, you'll, I can tame things at a, in behind the safety of the walls, and, um, and then plus I can use like one of the towers here. I can put in say a generator, put in some fridges. Uh, I could actually generate, you know, keep. Oh no! No 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 no! no. Stay away. See if I can draw it away. There's another alpha over there. Mr. Alpha down here. Num nums. <coughs> num nums. Num nums. <coughs> mm. Anyways. So basically, that's the kind of lowdown of what's going to be going on. Um, I got a few other ideas. Um, one idea is I'm going to turn this side of the wall into I'm gonna it's gonna be an elevated kind of platform and basically I'm gonna have that as a flyer landing and then over here on this side I'm gonna have a few little houses built up you know, for feeding troughs and uh, maybe park some of my um, herbivores kind of turn them into little kind of safety pins and whatnot and then basically with that up, my car knows, like, <coughs> dogs, um, like my T-Rex, the wolves, the 
sabers and whatnot. They're going to basically have free roaming range of this from that gate to those gates and keep things like that, those alphas, and basically keep the pen clean because I'm going to put them on aggressive. So, what are you, a 28? So, yeah, I'm going to have to get a new Archie. So. I have to get all that set up. Um, let's see. That was the lowdown on the base and the new ch stuff coming. And let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to gather things up and then make my way towards where. Play. I gotta figure out if there's a closer place where RG spawn near here. That way you don't have to go all the way to Far Peak Mountain up north. Um, I'm doing some new changes to the boat, so right now it's not in a good state to sail large dinos. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to go and gather up... Let's see, I only got 12 Trank Arrows. need a few more. Take the T. Should I take the T-Rex? No, I'm gonna actually take one of the wolves. Uh, I'll leave the T-Rex here to help keep, since alphas are about. Um, but I gotta do my daily stuff and thing. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. Um, I gotta. Well, basically what I said, but I gotta do my routine. Make sure I get my crops taken care of and whatnot, and then, um, yeah, uh, I think I said that because I, ju I just was watching a, uh, video from Slipgator, so, <laughs> there's that, uh, but, um, but yeah, gotta gather things up, and, uh, I will bring you gals and ghouls back, <laughs> um, once I've got everything set up, and I've actually got something to show, um, on that since it's so close to my base actually you know I'm gonna do something stupid and I'm gonna do something stupid in front of everybody all right open the gate up over here I'm gonna yellow this thing here mr. alpha alpha hello down here hey dummy down here Yeah, the foot movement has changed. You coming? Din din. Din din, right here. <laughs> here he comes. Oh! oh that was probably bad. Come and get it, come and get it. Oh, you want din din. kind of wondering why I named the bear blood scar is because when he tamed out he had this huge gash over uh, his white eye I think is what it was it was really bloody so it was like Ooh, that 
you know, that works. So, uh, I ain't no blood scar for that. Num nums and hang on. Ten. Hmm. Oh, that's right. This thing goes through so many berries, it's ridiculous. Okay, and Alright. Now back to getting preparation so I can get a new RG or maybe two new RGs if I can do that um, and then like I said gals and ghouls I'll bring you back once I got something to report uh, so, yeah be right back folks <laughs> hey 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 gals and ghouls we're back and I have an RG down it is only a level 8 RG. Um, definitely not going to be a Hawk uh, M3. Um, I'm going to give it a different name. But what I really need is just a flyer to get around. Delta's got a level. To just really get around at the moment. And then, once I'm able to do that, I will actually proceed to get a better love RG and I will be able to get Hawk M3. Now currently that RG is about 25% more and it will be fully tamed out. Since it's only a level 8, I didn't use any kibble, I just kind of meat and prime meat. Or at least any prime meat I'm able to find. Okay, Delta, get your butt up here. Alright, there you go. So I'm out with uh, Sonya and Delta. I was going to bring Zelda with me, but... Uh, Zelda was actually stuck in a pile of dinos, and I was not going to try and... And then we have the Delta. You still with me, buddy? And then we got the truck back home. Now that frozen tooth, I believe is what it was called. Map out. Um it's like directly north of where I got mine marked. It's close to actually where my old base used to be. <laughs> that mountain that's just yep, I'm stuck. Alright. So we'll hurry up and get the prime here to our RG. It did get hit a few times. Um so it's not gonna be a very good tame, but I'm going to take what I can get. Especially since I'm on a time crunch. I don't have much longer uh, before I need to get off, so about so once this tame's done and back to base, put a saddle on it, and then that is about all the time. Hang on. Got a pup here. About all the time I got. So. Get 
this guy, or is it a guy or gal? Gal. Tamed up, put a set, slap a saddle on it, and I'll be that. And at this point, you'll get to see the misadventures of Delta, Sonia, and. Sure, what I'm going to call the RG. Not yet, anyways. Um. Dumb, but eh, figured it work. Simple, dumb and simple, really is what it is. I tell you, not yet. Anyways, you'll have to see it when it's tamed out. Which I hope he will be soon. And then the journey home. Luckily, I got Sonya and Delta with me, so. It shouldn't be too bad. That prime. Ha. Use that. Basically, um, two wolves short to get um, a wolf pack, so I'm gonna have to do that. Two wolves, and then, of course, Sonya's gonna be the alpha. There's no ifs, ands, or buts on that. that that's basically the best tame I actually currently have, second to. Horns, the trike. They're like my highest level tames. I'm actually pretty proud of it. I like the war paint I did. Uh, basically to represent the war alpha. Um, basically I took black dye and just colored it all over. Um, and then did the purple paint. Uh, it doesn't really look like much since the black dye is not like very dark but cover that up and then put the purple on it kind of noticeable delta i haven't done anything with which i still need to do i gotta get i gotta get our symbol ah, the rg has been tamed and she shall be known as feda Time for the misadventures of Feather, our new Archie, Delta, and Sonia.
saw, lost feather, all those mega nerd jumpers. <sighs> that sucks. Well, in that town, and I got a log, so I can't really go after another one. And then we saw that dire bear, which was tempting. Um, so unfortunately, can't do that. to be a rather epic fail for the day. I got arked, as some would say. But oh well. Tomorrow is another day, as they say, and hopefully I'll have a better run of luck. I might do a bit of building rather than getting an RG. Get the get my boat all set up. Anyways, gals and ghouls, I've been Innofin here at Project XGD. Hopefully you enjoyed the little montage uh, with that and my face reactions, which probably weren't all that impressive. I wouldn't defend them. But um, I will see you gals and ghouls in the next video. And as always, yeah, come on, I'll wait here a little. Um, and it's never about the destination. It's